The Dynamics 365 Finance module for fixed assets effectively manages and oversees all fixed asset business processes. It maintains records of essential fixed asset details and their subsequent transactions. Fixed assets acquisition business processes have variance methods via purchase order, which involves the purchase order, product receipt, and invoicing, or through lease initial recognition when the asset is associated with a lease contract. They can also be acquired through the convention of inventory into fixed asset when an item initially received and stored in the warehouse, then converted into a fixed asset. Alternatively, fixed assets can be acquired from investment project, which represent project under construction, with all project expenses capitalized into a fixed asset. Lastly, fixed assets can be acquired through journal entries utilizing either the Fixed Assets Journal or the General Journal. I am Mohamed Amer, sharing my thoughts around business process and Dynamics 365 Finance. Now, let's dive into the process of acquiring Fixed Asset through Purchase Order. The business process commences with the initiation of a Purchase Order. It is essential to specify whether you want to create a new Fixed Asset through the Purchase Order procedure or select an existing Fixed Asset. Upon the receipt of the ordered asset through a purchase order, here let's assume you have chosen to generate a new fixed asset ID during this process. Consequently, the system will generate a fixed asset ID based on the selected asset book and initiate an accrual entry. Subsequently, when the invoice arrives and is posted, it results in the conversion of the item from inventory into a capitalized fixed asset. Simultaneously, it generates a vendor invoice as a liability and reverses the previous accrual entry. Now, let's have a quick demo within Dynamics 365 Finance. I'd like to show you the fixed assets parameters where we want to make sure following two options are set to yes. Allow asset acquisition from purchasing, create asset during product receipt or invoicing also set to yes. Because in this scenario, we aim to create and acquire an asset through the purchasing process. Now let's create a purchase order by moving to accounts payable, purchase orders, create a new PO, select a vendor, site and warehouse and then in purchase order lines select item number and enter unit price move to line details fixed asset section and select new fixed asset select fixed asset group then move to confirm the PO now we will post the product receipt Now let's check the posted transaction from the product receipt and here the system create the purchase accrual against the cost of purchased material received. Let's check the item transaction and here we have the item received from this purchase order. Check the created fixed asset ID. Here we have the created asset ID and its status is not yet acquired. Next, it's time to post the purchase invoice. Enter invoice number and post the invoice. Now check the posted voucher from this invoice. The generated vendor invoice reverses the previous accrual entry records the vendor liability, issues the item from inventory account and capitalized the asset. Let's check the fixed asset transaction under fixed asset books. The asset status is open and under transaction, we have the acquisition entry. Let's navigate to the item transactions. Here you will see a new transaction line associated to a fixed asset as issuance. Two key points regarding fixed asset acquisition through purchase order. 
need to be emphasized. The fixed asset parameter setting determines whether a fixed asset is automatically created during the purchase order process or if a fixed asset ID needs to be manually created beforehand and then selected in the purchase order line. Understand the transaction logic associated with the product receipt and invoice and how they are interconnected with the process of creating and acquiring fixed assets. This concludes the end-to-end -end business process of acquiring a fixed asset through a purchase order. We will explore more scenarios in the future, so stay tuned and thank you for your attention.